guys, welcome back to number six with cheese. I got that voice like I drank last night. <laughs> uh, we are right outside Tempesta Market, three minutes before they open to get the muffaletta. We Not saw taking any chances. No chances. Not even an online order. We're gonna go in there and order like like the way God intended. I love muffalettas. They stopped serving the sandwich like last year, and they brought it back this weekend. I'm so convinced for you. I think it was they saw the video. <laughs> <laughs> the video just came out, and then all of a sudden they're serving it again. I'm so obsessed with their lineup. But guys, my white whale. The sandwich that I keep looking on their menu that has been out of stock is the muffaletta. If you guys ever see the muffaletta on the menu, please let me know. Yeah, I'll If you're like, Sean, it's not out of stock anymore. I'm telling you right now, I'll eat it that day. We are getting this on the third day of the weekend, so like we've been hearing it's been selling out within the first hour every day. So like Corey said, taking no chances. So we're gonna get that. Are you gonna get one too? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, good, oh, yeah. good, good. And then today, we wanna let you guys know we're doing a, a sale on our website. If you buy a pin, we have them in gold and silver. They're super sick, enamel, we love them. We've got them out of our bags and stuff like that. You get a free hot sauce. So all you gotta do, buy a pin, support the show, you get a little something in return. So um, that's for you, and then today, this sandwich for us. 10 o'clock on the dot. Let's go be those guys. How's it going? This first one in. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna do two of the muffalettas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, super fast, good. appreciate it. Thank you guys. No chances were taken, but the sandwiches were acquired from Tempesta Market. The muffaletta. Acquired, I just said that. Jump cut. For the muffaletta purists out there, this is a, a very modernized version. <laughs> it's not like the straight up New Orleans. My God. <laughs> I did not think it was gonna be that big. Well. That is insane. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the largest one I've ever seen. Ever. Holy smokes. <laughs> To get that on the catering menu during, because they still sure, have it, sure, yeah. $165. So you have to spend $165. It serves 10 to 12. Okay. But they, they just give you like a muffaletta platter. That's, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I love that their muffaletta too says no modifications. Do yeah. all, all their things say that? No. The, no, this is just the anti Burger King yeah. mentality. All right, enough jibber jabber in the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, look at this beast, guys. This is so huge. Um, okay, so. Pistachio, mortadella, porchetta, cotto, don't know what that is, pepperoni, fresh mozzarella, lettuce, marinated eggplant, giardinera aioli, and pesto served on a house made focaccia. Is that how you focaccia. say Focaccia. Focaccia. This is just looks unbelievable, guys. And it's so not traditional. Like they put a bunch of other stuff on this that's not normally on it. It's just, it looks insane. I'm pumped. How do you eat this thing? <laughs> this is like it's normally a sandwich ish. So normally it's cut, it's not like. <laughs> This is like a pie, you know, slice. Yeah. They're normally circle and yeah. then cut into fours, and it's like okay. very manageable. Okay. I'm a little worried this might hurt the score. <laughs> <How do you laughs> it this? looks like a thing. piece of art. It does. It doesn't even look like food. Plate. Yeah. I think no modifications because they make it all beforehand. Yeah, they have to. They batch do it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, the muffaletta, eighteen dollars, and I'm. It's gone. You got to get it on the catering menu now. All right, cheers. cheers. I legitimately don't know how to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. That was great. Good Come fresh on. taste, huh? Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 The oils. Mm-hmm. So great. It's almost like this is gonna sound weird. Uh huh. There's like some. There's some Detroit style pizza. In this. <laughs> I think it's the focaccia. It's well, like that's 100% what yeah. it is. That kind of gives it like and a the, Detroit style sandwich. Yes. And also the pepperoni. And then it's got a good little spice on it. Mhm. Mm this mm. is definitely like not everybody's type of sandwich like, you know, green olive spread and like this style stuff. Not 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 everybody's thing. But there's something about this sandwich to me, muffalettas that are so refreshing. It is very refreshing. And I feel like I'm a good uh barometer. Mm -hmm. I'm a guy who hates veggies. Right. And this is great. Yeah. You know, this mm -hmm. is not don't be turned off by the olive talk. Right. I'm, I don't like olives. I'm glad you I said like that. This. Yeah, it's kind of almost got a jarred air vibe to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Olive salad is basically jarred. Mm. Oh my God. I mean, this bread is fantastic. I'm afraid to put it down. The sauces, everything about this is great. Such a good salt, mm. but not mm. overpowering. I mean, that bread, so normally they use Sicilian sesame bread. Okay. And the term muffaletta 
is both for the bread and the sandwich. They're both called muffaletta. Mm. And so they definitely took their own spin on this, which I love the modernization and doing it differently. Because everybody's always told me that this place does the best muffaletta in Chicago. And I can get why it's like such a hot commodity. Yeah, this is unreal. Man, those oils. Yeah. I mean, I was a little worried when it said eggplant. I shouldn't have been scared. It, it melds with all the flavors perfectly. I have full faith in 10 past the market at this point. Same. I'll eat anything they make. Yeah. I don't care what it says is on there. It's probably going to be delicious. Yeah. They can make a tomato sandwich, and I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'm eating it. <laughs> I would love that. I hope they reach out to us. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Guys should probably, like, if you live in Chicago, I would say follow them on Instagram because they might drop this again. It's like a thing yeah. they'll just kind of every once in a while do, maybe. Right? Like, I just want to look at it. Mm. I'm in love. Oh, you know who I know is going to be excited we're making this video. Who's that? TJ. Oh yeah, does he he just loves Tempesta Market or he loves, loves about the muff, muffaletta there? Loves Tempesta. He was really hyping up our last video to them too. They were like, they reshared our photo of our, our pastrami. Yeah. And he was like, yo, they didn't just take a photo. They did a whole video. You should go watch it. I'm telling you, they might have brought back the muffaletta for us. I think they did. Oh, is it sun-dried tomatoes in here? It must be, because that's the vibe I'm getting from I the I love sun-dried tomatoes. For being a non-tomato guy. Everything on this is just fantastic. I mean, it's fantastic. Mm, 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 mm. I want to keep eating, but I know we got more to do. Yeah, we're filming more videos today, so if this was the only thing Corey and I were doing today, this whole thing would be housed I mean, already. look how much I've gone through. Yeah, I know. I'm really trying to savor it. <laughs> this is, dude, I think they need to make this bread and make a Detroit style pizza sandwich. Yeah, me too now. This would be so cool. Yeah. Look, the ideas you have, I'll invest. <laughs> Best pitch ever. Like, if it's, if you are this business and this business is you. There could not be a, like this sandwich is juicy. Yeah. There couldn't be a better bread to soak up those juices. Couldn't agree this. more. So Central Grocery, in New Orleans is kind of like where the muffaletta was founded. The spot. It's like the spot. I got to go to Verdi Mart in New Orleans when I was there for work in January, and that was like Anthony Bourdain's favorite place. Mm. It's a 24 hour place that just in the back of it has like a muffaletta window. So you can just get like a pack of smokes, a bottle of whiskey, and a muffaletta at three in the morning. That and sounds very Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. One of the, the world's great places is a place like that. I find the muffaletta is a local specialty sandwich that originated in 1906 and stuck around ever since. Mm. Wow. Is this your first muffaletta? I think this is my first muffaletta. This is great. You're starting heavy hitter. I know. <laughs> not everything else is going to be trash compared to this. It's just going to be so different. They're not like this. No. Yeah. Because I've, I've seen you eat them. Yeah. So I've seen what they... Right. I'd love for you to just do like a traditional like. New Orleans one. I'm yeah. sure you'd love that too. I mean, it's the same sensation. Yeah. It's the same like coolness and saltiness and oily and refreshing. Like you get all that. This is just like Better. they literally loaded up a needle it's and just juicify. Steroids. They just conseco this thing. Yeah. I never finished sex because I'm so juiced out. But she nutted three times and we bashed it. I mean, this is un unreal. I'm gonna save. Tempesta Mark, you've done it again. I'm gonna sit in front of my computer and edit this video and eat this. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. That's why it's getting saved. Real quick, wanna give a donation shout out on the show when you Venmo, you PayPal, you super thanks, any of that stuff, you get shout outs on our show. Let's give it up for Tony Cooper Adkins for the $10 donation on Venmo. Tony, thank you for supporting the show. Number six with cheese loves you. All right, before we rate that sandwich out of five, uh, one last little breakdown, then we'll get into it. Take it away. That thing was unbelievable. It was crazy expensive, but you guys saw the size of that freaking thing. The bread was unbelievable. The juices were amazing. The flavors were all really fresh. I mean, when you got me, a guy who historically hates vegetables, particularly olives, <laughs> and I'm sitting there slamming that Sammy, <laughs> yeah. like, it just goes to speak for itself. It was Amazing. Very, very good. I probably had 25 different muffalettas in my life. That one is in the top five for sure. It was so modern, and I love that they didn't just do the traditional New Orleans thing. I, they took the roots of it and did it the Tempesta way, and I really dig that. Yep. As for the question at the beginning of this video, was it too unmanageable to eat because of the size? Actually, no. No. I thought it was going to be. Didn't yeah. get in the way. It was fine. It's a two-hander. It's a two-hander. <laughs> you better have two hands. All right, uh, Alex Trebek, cue that music. Out of five. Well, I don't have anything to compare it to, but... Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna fault you for going high. Yeah. All right, cut the music off. I think you guys know where this is going. At least for me. You don't want to put any bets down. <laughs> uh, FanDuel. All right, uh, on the count of three, are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Bam! Bam. Yeah, dude. I mean, Sean's had enough muffalos. He says that's great. I'm gonna believe him. I don't need to try any other ones. I get why people were getting so fired up online about that thing. Yeah, dude, that's unbelievable. 
I mean, just 10 past the market. Once again, this is what they do. I don't think I've given any of their sandwiches less than five, I would assume. <laughs> I know, right? I, I'm sensing a theme here. It, that might be the best sandwich shop in Chicago. It really might be. All right, guys, before we get out of here, don't forget to like the video. It helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. That helps us even more. And then also, if you want to comment here today, we'll comment with you. What is a sandwich that you love that you'd like to see Tempesta Market take a crack at? Maybe there's something you love, and this is kind of God tier of doing it. Drop a comment what you'd like to see them do. And even if you don't live in Chicago, you can think of the most epic deli making a sandwich. Hit us with yours. We'll comment ours. And we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video on the channel. Tempesta, you did it again, dude. Bye. Shh.